towards their lakes, they say. It's lovely, they say. Views for miles. If you like fog and mist. So yeah, I'm in Cumbria today. I'm just heading up to Red Scree's Tarn to do what would be my lightest ever loadout wall camp. So any of you that know me know that I'm not into ultra, ultra light camping, but I always try and lighten my gear as much as I can. Uh, and today I've got my pack to as smaller, lighter weight as possible, um, at least for me, still keeping some of the luxuries that I like to have. So I'll get set up and I'll show you what I got and how much it weighs. Well, I've had to get into full bin liner mode, including backpack cover. Hello. Uh, yeah, the rain's actually just stopped, but there's just thick mist up there, so no doubt gonna get soaked again. Bit of a scramble up here, filling it on the old knees. But the views are looking nicer. Huh? Still a bit foggy and cluggy. Sun's trying to break through up there. It is 10 past seven in the evening. So uh, <clears throat> pretty positive I'm not gonna get any kind of sunset. But uh, hopefully enjoy it either way. Not me. It's a little uh, trickle of water. You don't want to see that on camera, do you? Right. This is getting ridiculous. And I'm, I think I'm going to have to bail. I followed the uh, the steps up here. Went off route slightly, which took me a long way up some really, really steep slopes and gravelly scrambles. I got to the top of that part of the summit and I could hardly stand. The winds were just knocking me back down again. And this visibility somewhere that I do not know um, with such steep sides and it's all shale and shingle and stones. I don't want to chance it. Getting back down is going to be an absolute nightmare but um, I'm going to have to try before it gets dark. Because there's no way even if I want to get to camp and I push on I'll get there before dark, so setting up pitch black with this wind and this rain, it's not going to do it. So I'm going to try and head back down. Sorry guys. Just remember a bail is not a fail. You've got to be safe. I'm up here on my own. Yeah, people know where I am. I've got a bit of a signal, so I could call for help. I don't want to be dragging uh, Mountain Rescue out to come and get me. And I also don't want to be injuring myself, so I'm too old for that. Be safe rather than sorry. If you think you can't make it, don't push yourself through and do it. Um, it's not worth it. There's no heroism. You don't get every reward rewards for it. So just uh, know where your limits are. Set them. Don't push past them. Well, within reason. Right, so this has gone from my ultralight camp on top of Red Screes to the ultimate stealth camp in a farmer's field. It's half past 10 at night. I've literally just got set up. I'm starving. I'm gonna get some food on, try and keep the light off. The, uh, the farm is in view of here. But I'm tucked down as far as I can go. And there's cows and sheep in the field. This is going to be fun. Right, it's quarter past 11. I've set my alarm for four because I want to be up and out by sunset, which is a quarter past five. Um, I couldn't even show you my food tonight. It's too dark, but look, proof. Adventure foods, not noodles. Makes a change, eh? Right, I'm going to get zipped up and try and get some sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. Right, it's quarter to five. I'm packed up, leaving no trace, and I'm out of here. 